Hello friends, welcome to Dr. Sai Physiology Academy, DOPA for short. This is the place where we make the learning of physiology easy, exciting and effective. Thank you for joining me. And if you're new to this channel, you're especially welcome. And if you love the content that we share, kindly click the like button and also the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't get to miss any new content that we drop. All right, let's get started. So today we're going to be dealing with cytoskeleton. What is cytoskeleton? Always look at the words first. Cyto has to do with cell. So then skeleton that means the skeleton of the cell so you can understand the functions based on your understanding of the normal skeleton we have now bones so what does skeleton do what's the function of skeleton in the human body it gives you shape is it not it gives shape gives form gives structure and also for movement Without your skeleton, you can't move your bones in conjunction with your muscles. So, very important locomotion. So, that's basically what cytoskeleton That's what they do in the cell. Although they are not drawn here because they are very tiny. They are like, they are fill, actually, they are filaments. But very tiny, very, very tiny. Okay? But they are so numerous, they give the cell its strength shape all right so we're going to be looking at them they are actually proteins all of them are proteins there are three basic types of cytoskeletal elements we're going to be looking at them one of them is called micro tubules this micro tubules they are actually the largest okay so they are differentiated based on the type of protein and the arrangement so these micro tubules they form a tubule the proteins there the protein that makes up micro tubule is called um tubulin tubulin okay so the way it forms it forms a hollow shape but that hollow shape is very important for something now the microtubules are responsible for transporting substance. Remember, we talked about Golgi apparatus that its function is to distribute. It does that through the aid of microtubules. Okay, so it's just like this tubules. They are all over everywhere, different parts. So they're just like train tracks. Okay, then they now have what you call molecular yeah, molecular motors molecular motors that now function as the train that carries a cargo a load so those molecular motors they carry whatever substances that needs to be transported and the microtubule is now the track i hope you're getting it the track that it uses to move so this tubule this tubule here they move inside carried by the molecular motors that carries the load it can be vesicles macromolecules proteins whatever that's what it does very important function another thing that it does is that when chromosomes are trying to separate during mitosis okay it's the microtubules that help to separate them to two different ends the poles of the that's what they do they all help to separate separate chromosomes okay during mitosis all right now microtubes are the largest so we're going to be looking at two others a very important one of them plays the role in contraction of muscle other cytoskeletal elements i'm going to be looking at that after this break So the second one is known as the microfilament. Microfilament. Okay, this microfilament is made up of two major types of proteins. One of them is called actin, and the other one, myosin. 
okay but actin is far more abundant okay so when we talk about microfilaments are usually referring to actin so it has a protein g actin or f actin all right so what does actin do microfilament they are all for structure shape and all of that its own specially is for change of shape okay when the cell needs to change shape now look at this this cell it's it's a bit flexible but then in some cells they need to move the whole cell needs to move especially white some white blood cells macrophages neutrophils okay they move to go to where bacteria is to engulf them and destroy them so the same thing amoeba does so it protrudes what we call pseudopods false feet so this part will come out move come out like that they begin to so what helps that to happen is the actin filament it helps it change shape for it to move all right so that that is what actin does another thing actin does is that when during cell mitosis you know mitosis there are different stages you said microtubules their own is to separate the chromosome actin its own is to divide the cell okay because it can change shape so it's called cytokinesis so the cell will divide into half like this this part will start going inside going inside till it cuts into two all right so that's what actin does because it helps to change shape it also helps in cell division all right so the another very important one in conjunction with myosin it helps in contraction especially the ones that have it so abundant very prominent is muscles they have a lot of actin and myosin so they slide together when they slide together they contract when they unslide they relax you're going to learn all of that in excitable tissues okay muscles and nerves you're going to learn all so it's actin that does that microfilament so the third one now let's look at the third one it's called intermediate intermediate filament this one is made up of so many different kinds of proteins okay it's not a specific one in so we don't mention it it's made up of different kinds of protein so they're actually the smallest of them so i from the biggest to the smallest micro to microphone okay so what is the function of intermediate filament why actin helps to change shape intermediate filament helps to stabilize shape of the cell so both of them are, are important when the cell needs to maintain so when we're talking about maintenance of shape it's mainly this intermediate then when it needs to move okay, hope it's not confusing because as you are like this your structure your bones are make, giving you shape stability of shape you are not collapsing but at the same time you can also move so the stability part of shape is intermediate why the change and movement part is from this okay then now it helps to see stability stability of shape then another very vital one in very close conjunction with the nucleus it helps to anchor the nucleus okay this intermediate filament it surrounds the nucleus helps to keep the nucleus in place because the nucleus is not supposed to be moving up and down the nucleus is the biggest organelle very important the control center so it helps to anchor so don't remember all this don't forget all this function remember them very carefully stability of shape and anchorage okay of the nucleus and other parts of the cell that needs you no know, cells that are connected to each other okay so those points where they are connected to each other intermediate filaments help to anchor them everything about it is stability okay of position shape and all of that so these are what you need to know about cy cytoskeletal elements cytoskeleton microtubules microfilament intermediate filament that's what they do so meditate on it look at them this one has to a railway track it provides the vehicle the, the pathway 
for movement within the cell so that things can move inside the cell this one provides that change of shape when the cell needs to move also contraction of muscles then also when the cell wants to divide why this one is for stability of shape anchorage of the nucleus so that's what you need to know about cytoskeleton see you in the next video